What up, what up, what up, what up? Y'all make sure at the door, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. So let's talk about Preacher. Preacher from the Preacher crew. Yes. Preacher Heatley. So Preacher, I have some uh connections i have a, i have connections to a lot a lot of gangsters okay real deal holy filled gangsters that's living that life for real and um i felt like i wanted to tell you about what was going on with preacher a lot of people don't know what's going on with preacher and uh, the preacher crew and and everything behind the actual arrest of uh, preacher and preacher was stone cold cold blooded. Okay, he was out of the Bronx in in uh, Harlem. You know, he ran out of Harlem and the Bronx, and uh, he was ferocious. Okay, complete animal, complete. He had a team where they would catch you. They would take you into this basement. And you wouldn't come out that basement. Not only that, they would dismember your body. They would chop you up with a chainsaw. And spread your body in different places all around various cities. He was known for this. His crew was known for this. This the preacher the preacher crew was the most one of the most feared groups out, period, including the mob, the Italian mafia. The preacher crew is a uh, Black individuals who got together, I feel like, on a whole psychotic warpath, if you ask me. They went around the city terrorizing. Now, Preacher is actually, he knows Rich Porter's uncle named Apple. Preacher was actually sexing, effing Apple in the state pen when he was actually in the state penitentiary before Preacher was out terrorizing everybody in the world. Did we talk, we, I'm taking you back way before this guy was dismembering bodies. His crew is known for 50, 50 or more homicides. That's on record. Okay? <laughs> Preacher was sexing Apple. Rich Porter's uncle. And Apple was a punk. That's just that's just the bottom line. He's still alive. In Attica somewhere. He, I know he was there for a long time. I don't know exactly where he's at, but I know he was in Attica. And he was being taken down by preacher, period. Apple came home. Preacher came home. Apple started to get jealous of his nephew. Apple uh Apple started to get jealous of his nephew, Rich Porter. And all of the money he was making. And all of the clout. 
and attention he was receiving from big time gangsters. You know, deep down inside, Apple probably didn't want to be living the life he was living. He probably didn't. He probably didn't want to be sexed on by men like Preacher. Who knows if it was forced on him or who knows if he actually just liked it. Who knows? But from what it tells me, he didn't like it. From what it tells me, he... He, um, he, he was mad at himself. He, he didn't, he, he didn't like who he was as a man or as an, an alleged man. And, um, you know, when you're in behind, when you're in behind that wall, you in that state and them prisons, <laughs> You know, it's going to be known very, very early and quick if you are a man inside or if you are a girl inside. It's just the bottom line. That's all that is. Because they're going to get at you. Now, I know some gangsters that Preacher respected. Period. When Preacher got out, he wrote to the people that I know and was going to go and go on a visit to go see these people as well. He respected a lot of these people. But if he didn't respect you, man, it was like a goldfish to a shark. That's the best way I can put that. So Apple comes home. And tries to get, or well, he he tried to get preacher to kidnap his Apple's own nephew, and they wanted to do it for a ransom. See, preacher was going around robbing the robbers. He was robbing everybody. He was an extortionist. He was selling dope, drugs, you name it. The preacher crew was doing it. The preacher crew was so notorious. We talking about more, even more so than the Italian mafia. They were so notorious that they are the reasons why the federal government sent the feds down to local projects and street corners to get after the local gangs in the community. The preacher crew is directly responsible for that. Through their actions, the first federal task force attached to the state local police was formed. This is how vicious this actual gang was. And yes, of course, this kidnapping a nephew from Rich Porter and from Apple, or kidnapping Rich, yeah, kidnapping Rich Porter's little brother and the nephew of Apple was seen to be kibbles and bits to the preacher crew. But they did it. They actually kidnapped Rich Porter's nephew. Now, according to... I'm, not, I'm sorry, Rich Porter's brother. Now, according to... Preacher's son, who Preacher... Ratted on because Preacher Preacher ratted on everybody, on his whole entire crew, including his daughter. Now, 
According to Preacher's son, Preacher did not order the killing of of Apple's nephew. Apple went along without the knowledge of Preacher himself and went on and killed his own nephew. That's the word. You know, I don't understand how a man could... I, I, just, I, I just can't even put that, that into words. That is just... I mean, it's so ruthless out here on this planet at times. It is just... It's just... It's just unreal. I mean, unimaginable on the heinous acts that these people inflict on other human beings on this planet. But this is what we have. Therefore, you must stand up and fight regardless. I don't care who you are. You make sure you're standing up and fighting. Now, they killed Rich Rich Porter's little brother. And hmm, mm -mm -mm. the preacher crew goes on and kill many, many more people. Many. They preacher even killed his own lieutenant. He had two captains, two lieutenants, or rather. And one of them was ex-military. One of them was a housing police cop. The, the housing police cop and the ex-military man did not like one another. So the two captains didn't like each other. And... They both were attempting to convince Preacher to get rid of one another. Until Preacher ultimately decided to get rid of the ex-military captain. And convinced the ex-military captain to, to go down into the basement with the crew and the, the ex-housing cop leading the ex-military captain to believe that the housing cop was the mark when actually he was the mark. They asked the ex-military dude to go turn up the radio and as he went to go turn up the radio he was shot in the back of the head. Then, Preacher ordered the Preacher crew to grab the chainsaw and to start to cut into the body of this ex-military guy, the ex-captain, and dispose of the body. Where they went wrong was they actually put the body in the walls right there when they normally take the bodies out and dis and throw it all around the city and and they would bury the they would bury bodies in project walls and what have you so this is what we were dealing with. As far as preacher, he is the reason, him and his crew is the direct reason that we have the feds, the federal freaking government, in local cities, local projects, local black minority communities. This guy's the reason. Not the, not the Italian mafia. Not any of these other killers or anything. No, this particular crew, the preacher crew. 
Now, I know he got locked up. He ratted on everybody. He ratted on everybody he good. So he wouldn't face the death penalty. And this guy is up in the federal penitentiary walking the yard. He's not in protective custody. They fear this guy. This guy is feared. If preacher don't like you, which that's many he doesn't like in the pen, he's gonna he's going to have sex with you. He's gonna make you a girl. That's who he is. Preacher would take two enemies that he didn't like. He would take them into the basement. Have sex with one of them right in front of the friend. And then kill them. And kill a friend right in front of them. And then they'll kill a friend. Then dismember their bodies. Now, from what I do understand, Preacher is extremely feared right to right now to this day in the penitentiary behind them walls. He was feared in the state pen. I hear that he, he gets down for his as far as his hands is concerned. You know how to use his hands. And he was feared in the state pen. And he was and he's even more feared now in the federal penitentiary the federal penitentiary. So I wanted to drop this knowledge on you just in case you didn't know about preacher and you didn't know what actually happened to the to the preacher crew and if you didn't know what happened to Rich Porter's little brother. This is what happened. This is the crew that was responsible for killing Rich Porter's little brother. The preacher crew was notoriously known for robbing and extortion, peddling drugs, smuggling drugs, you name it, they was doing it. They even kidnapped Bobby Brown for, I would say it was $25,000 that Bobby Brown owed the preacher crew because the preacher crew, preacher actually supplied Bobby Brown with coke then your girl Whitney Houston had to come and save Bobby Brown's ass. And she paid a ransom of $400,000. So this is the type of level that we're dealing with. It's not a game, but. Now, if y'all like this content, y'all let me know, please. And let me know because I have a lot more. I have a lot of more information on a lot of people. Let me know if you like this type of content. Let me know in the comment section below. Please hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Tap that little bell that you see to receive all of the videos before everybody. And uh, I appreciate your time. And I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Thank you.